Welcome to the Gamescape, everybody. My name's Jack, and today we're back in Phoenix Point. This is episode 25 of our playthrough. In our previous episode, we saved the Anu Haven from attack by the Pandorans over here, and we went in tired. A little miscalculation on my part, a uh, little misplay. We brought the team down from up here, and I really should have just stopped here at the Alaska base for just a few seconds, uh, gathered up a little bit of stamina, and then came down. I, I just... I didn't think about it. And so we ended up going into this haven tired. But uh, what we did was we went ahead and spent some of our mutagens and we got everybody on the strike team up to 15 uh, uh, willpower so that we could kind of compensate for being down some action points by having, you know, a couple of more dashes or quick aims or whatever with the willpower. And that worked out pretty well. We ended up spending about 300 mutagens or a little bit more and the mission went fine. We ended up getting some captures and we pulled about 300 mutagens worth of Pandora's out, Pandorans out of there. So kind of ended up being a wash as far as the mutagens expenditure goes. And our strike team got buffed up really nice. Uh, everybody's there on the team is up to 15 willpower now. So uh, they're they're getting quite good, actually. Um, they're at 15 will points and 18 speed. Everybody is and, tw and 20 strength. 20 strength could be better. Uh, we'll be working on that eventually but we're we're okay um after the defense we did go ahead and bring our team back here to the base to rest they just got there they haven't done any actual resting yet and we did a little bit of trading a little bit of exploring over in here our our uh base here is going to have its workshop repaired in about three hours which means these uh times are going to come down even more uh i suspect these will come down to about five four four or five hours each and these will probably drop to about 10 hours each i think and so we're getting close. We're getting close to having the bounty hunters outfitted. We're also very close to having enough materials for another manticore for the, to chauffeur the, the bounty hunters around and get them to where they need to be, which we desperately need because we are very, very obviously too spread too thin here. We have way too much territory to cover for a single manticore and a single strike team. And so getting the, the bounty hunters into the into the action is going to be good. And they will uh, they will be desperately needed, I think. So the other thing that happened last time was the behemoth is back. And so he's coming down here into South America. I thought about this for a while, guys. And the Helios can get down here. And it is armed. And it could deal with the flyers that the behemoth sends out. The problem is it's so far away. And if anything down here were to happen, uh, number one, we'd probably have to open this base so that the Helios has a place to rearm and repair and, re and uh, get, get you know, just general battle damage taken care of and so on. I don't have any way to defend this base because the Helios can make it here, but the Manticore cannot. And even if it could, this base is a long way away from where our strike team is operating and even if, if if this base were to come under attack, which it very well could, then we wouldn't be able to get here in time to defend it anyway. And so opening the base isn't cheap. Uh, it's we're we're getting to where it's a little bit expensive. It's 600 materials and 100 tech, which we could do, which we could do. And then the repairs on top of that are going to be another several hundred materials and a bit of tech. And that would basically put us down to where we don't have enough uh, materials to and and tech to get the get the second team going like we need to. So after considering for quite a while, I've kind of reached the conclusion that I don't think there's any way we can realistically defend South America at this point. We're we're already spread way too thin with what we're covering so far between North America, Asia, and Europe. Uh, we haven't even looked at Africa yet. I'm sure Africa is getting terrorized as well, but we're we're just in bad shape as far as it goes. We're kind of in that point of the game already where you kind of feel like you're drowning a little bit. There's so much going on and there's only so much you can respond to. And this this phase passes, you know, uh, we'll get our second team going. We'll get a third team going and things will start to feel a lot better after that. But we're just kind of right on that cusp where we almost have our second team ready, but they're not quite there yet. And a whole bunch of stuff starting to happen all over the place. And we're getting, you know, we get a bunch of mist and we have havens coming under attack on both sides of the Pacific Ocean here. And there's just a lot going on right now. So I think what we're going to do 
is we're going to let the behemoth have South America and we're going to let him terrorize it and and do what he's going to do down there. And we're going to use this time when he's eating South America to focus on building up our force and getting a third team going and getting our second team out and about and doing plenty of trading, getting some more bases open and stuff like that so that we can be ready. He will eventually give up on South America and leave. Uh, it takes a while for him to do that, but he will. And so I think we're going to do that and just focus on defending what we can here and getting everything going. So I think that's the play. And that being the case, I'm not going to send the Helios down there. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him over here and we're going to get some food built up and we're going to get some up into here and we're going to get some more materials and tech bot with that food. Uh, we can also wait for our guys here to get rested up and then we could do a little bit of trading right down through here as well. And that'll get us in fine shape with our economy and we'll be able to get that manticore in production for the bounty hunters and they'll be good to go once they're trained up. So that's the play today. And I'm sure stuff's going to pop up while we're doing that. We'll probably end up with a Haven defense or something today, I would imagine. And uh, so we'll deal with that when it comes up. So uh, right now, the the strike team is resting. Okay, Rite of Hope. Helos 3 arrives at Azupiranu during the Rite of Hope, which reminds the faithful to look beyond the problems of the present and believe in a bright future. The citizens march through the Haven, chanting, Perfection is possible, and praising the Exalted, the first human being to approach said perfection. After the ceremony, there's a feast, and the priests share some of their provisions with our operatives. We thank them. Uh, after the feast, a few beers in them. The priests are quite jolly. They share funny and sometimes graphic stories about how they used to believe the world was doomed and all the foolish things they did in their despair, but how they ultimately found hope in the exalted. So, Happy Haven's leaders up. Uh, 375 food for us. Good. And we're going to trade them and take all the rest of their food, too, that they have. And we're going to come down to here. And we're going to trade them for all of their food and all their materials. So this is putting us, uh, taking some of our tech, but we've got a couple of Sinedrian Havens over here. We can replenish our tech. Okay, and then we're going to come to here. How's our other team looking here? Uh, they're still going, so. Okay, let's trade this one. Uh, they don't have much. That's okay. What about this, this one? Uh, they have food and tech. That's fine. We can take their food and their tech. I know we're getting a lot of food built up here, but that's okay, because we're going to be trading it all back as soon as we get up into here, which is where we're heading. So I think that's going to be fine. We can get materials here. Okay. Andorans initiated recon flight. Nothing we can do about that. Take that. Do we want this too? It's a good trade. Yeah, we do. And then we're going to come here. And we're going to get everything they've got here. For get some of that food going back. And we can come down here and get some of that tech back. Okay, Chiron Nurgle. Pandoran Citadel. Uh-oh, there's a Citadel on the, on the screen, guys. Silas Zenagos, Acid Myrmidons are up. Acheron, Ackless Champion, that's the last of the Acherons. Uh, the Chiron Nurgle, I don't remember him. Uh, he is... He is... Poison Worms and Stompy Legs. Okay. He's easy enough to deal with that. Pandora Virus is done. There had always been rumors that maybe the Pandora virus wasn't from Earth, that some alien disease had come down from the stars like a plague from heaven. But now that we finally had the evidence we needed, we realized the truth was more terrible than that. The Pandora virus was alien, yes, but it wasn't a disease. It was a bioweapon. We were not alone, and whatever was out there wanted us dead. None of this had deterred Randolph Symes. 
He continued his quest, hoping that whatever his great-grandfather had buried in Oglethorpe University's time vault held the answers he needed. We would have to hope that he was right. Okay. We need to investigate Oglethorpe University's time vault where Randolph Symes Sr. buried a collection of files that might shed light on the history of the Pandora virus. The coordinates have been uploaded to our system. Our research regarding the nature of the Pandora virus has caused a great deal of controversy within the factions. Tobias West sees our research as confirmation of what New Jericho has always preached. The Pandorans are invaders, a military solution is the only way forward, and anyone who disagrees is helping the enemy. In Synedrian, internal debates rage. What are the socio-political rights of creatures created by a bioweapon? Should they even be tr should we even be trying to coexist? As for the disciples of Anu, there is no official statement from the Exalted or the Synod of Yearning, but rumors suggest they are they are neither surprised nor worried. Okay, uh, plus pluses on everybody here. Let's do some trading here. I'm going to get all of this from them. And we're going to come here. And we're going to trade a bunch of it back. We got personnel. No humans allowed. Go, go talk to New Jericho. Okay, I'm going to go there. How are we doing here now? Okay, we're just about all ready to go here. I think. So we've got a couple of things we could do. We could get up here. We could get New Jericho going forward. That's probably not the worst thing. Get the phase one mission done. Um, swing down here. We could take care of seeking the Firebird and get in better with Synedrian. Uh, over here, we also have the fourth initiation. Catch these two. Get good with the other two factions. Maybe swing down here and catch this one. Uh, I do want to do uh, Saving Helena as well. Because I, I would like to get the... Uh, I would like to get the ancient stuff going. This is going to be, even after we get Helena, we still have a little research to do, and we still have to build some archaeology labs, and then we have to build some probes and deploy them and find the sites before we have to even worry about running them. And so we're we're getting to where we're going to need to do something about that. So um, I think that's going to be okay, though. So we're going to be all right. Okay, we just traded here. We're coming here. We can also head up here and get some more materials here. Uh, I'm just I'm just getting us up to where we have plenty for more uh, another plane, basically. So down here we got New Jericho too. So uh, we got a little trading we're gonna do right over here in about three shakes of a lamb's tail here with uh, when these guys are back up to full, which is about right now. Let's do a trade here. Take all your materials. Not interested in your food right now. Uh, they're taking tech for materials there. Okay, let's get to here. Trade this. Then we're going to come here. Here. Take all your materials. Just going up that way. Pandorans initiate another recon flight. Yeah, they gotta be looking already pretty bad down here, huh? Nothing we can do. It's gonna be the way it is. Take all of that, and that's enough to get us a manticore. Okay, how are we looking? Personnel. These guys should be up to about level four, pretty close to uh, 230 out of 250. Do we want more training facilities here? We have a whole two, at least two more teams to build, probably closer to five teams, really. Um, well, you know what we do need? We need to get a satellite uplink going here. That's for sure. All right. So we need to trade off some more materials. 
pretty much used all of our tech and stuff at this point. Did we just do this trade? We did. Okay. All right. Well, let's get these guys going. Let's do let's do that. All right, we're not going to be able to get a ton from these guys, but we'll get as much as we can. Oh, we're going to get all of it. That's, no, that's okay. That's not bad. But we do need more tech, so... Did we get all of it from here? No, we did not. So let's bring it back to here. Get some more of this. And we can make this trade when we get there. And we just need to find somebody who's trading off everything for food. How are they looking? It's been a minute. They've still got they've got stuff back again. All right. So first of all, uh, let's cancel here for a second. Let's do this trade. Buy up all of this. It's most of our most of our materials or you know most of our tech is what I'm trying to say. That's fine. Then we want to go ahead and probably do this special mission here. Saving Helena. Our latest intelligence suggests that a new Jericho is keeping Dr. Lewandowski in high security lab. Secure the compound so that we can get the doctor and her invaluable work out of the hands of Tobias West. Starting the mission. Um. All right. So we're not gaining anything here. I do want to get her, her, uh, Ignore pain, though. So that's okay. Um, lots of snipers in this, probably. So we could theoretically spend a bit of mutagens to get some strength up here. 10, 21, 25. That's about 40. Is that right? 18. That's uh, 20. That's about 20. Well, 44, I guess. Math's hard. Um, a little more than that. Yeah, I want to get... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay. So we spent about 250... About 250 there. All right, and uh, we're going to recover everything. We have to secure the area and we have to not let the doctor get killed. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Okay, here we go. We got eyes on a bunch of stuff already. Three assaults, two tech, four assaults, and two technicians. Four assaults, two technicians, plus snipers out here somewhere. I probably should not have come into this at night. That was probably a mistake. All right, let's get everybody frenzied. All right, what I'm thinking... Usually there's snipers down in here, also usually up on the roof. Maybe maybe even over here. We're we're we start off in a bad spot on this map to begin with. It's not good. Um so what we can do is we can lay a couple of grenades in here, deal with these guys a bit. This guy down here is going to set some turrets. He's probably going to set a turret as well. Uh, he'll be more of an issue. We should probably try and take him out. He's kind of a priority target. This guy's got a good angle on us. He's probably a priority target as well. So let's have... Uh, how's everybody for willpower here, actually? They're only got 11 willpower. They're not that... They don't have that much for will. This guy's only got 9. This guy over here has 9. Guy back in the corner here's got 11... 
nine. I mean, we could panic a bunch of these guys with a, a jump and a and a and a uh, psychic scream. Does anybody else have psychic scream? I don't think so. I think just the one. Oh, yeah, no. Our, our assaults have it, too. One of them does, anyway. Oh, no, that is Argus. Never mind. So Argus is the only one who's got it. But he'll panic this guy if he hits him. Not this guy, though, right? Nope, this guy, too. Just some of the uh, some of these guys have nine, some have eighteen. There doesn't seem to be much rhyme or reason to who has what here. So that's okay. Um, what's the range on that? That's a decent sized bubble. Not going to get everybody, obviously, but if we get to here with him, if we jump him to here, we'll get him and probably them. We could probably get him to here and get all of them, but that kind of leaves him exposed over here a little bit. Um, let's do this. Put him up here. Put him here, maybe get everybody. Can't get him back into there, unfortunately. Let's put him here. He's got cover here, at least. If he doesn't get everybody, he can... Oh, there's another guy right here, too. All right, let's do this. Oh, these guys are just out. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can take this guy down. Got his arm. And then you're going to need to dash to get some something resembling cover. Nothing great here, is there? Let's go here. It's not perfect, but it's going to be okay. So he's out. He's panicked. We need to find out about that guy over there. Let's have Blaze check that out. Other sp Another dash to here. Okay, he did panic too. Okay, she's not going to do anything to him. He's in heavy armor. But she can do something about this technician. Uh, number one, she can take out his arm so he can't shoot back. But that's not going to stop him from putting down... You know what? Let's do this. Let's do a quick aim. Take out his arm. And another quick aim. Let's see if we can finish him. Okay, good. And that will panic the others, maybe. Nope, because we're not close enough. That's right. Yeah, she's kind of hanging in the wind there, isn't she? All right, let's dash. What we've got for lines of sight here. Let's dash to here. Let's see if we can get another. Not really. Okay, got his weapon.
Okay, you're going to dash to here. And you're going to dash to... He's panicked, so these two are all I have to worry about. Um, what's your shot from here look like? Can't kill a bulldog, can kill an arm. I come to here, should have two good shots on arms from here. Like that, quick aim. Yep. Okay. Quick aim again. On his arm. Didn't get his arm. Interesting. Okay, you're going to dash to here. And you're going to quick aim. Now you don't even have to quick aim. You're going to finish this guy off here. Okay, why don't you drop back just a hair here. Okay. Somebody up top. Somebody inside there. Reason before instinct. Okay. Well, that was panic moves, I guess. Oh, grenade. Ooh. Yikes. Out of our grenades. Okay, got another technician. Oh, he just put him back into working condition. No, he didn't heal his arm. Okay, there's a sniper. Gonna have to get him. Okay, you are sitting tight because if you move, you're gonna take a whole bunch of damage. Oh, we can shoot the assault. Terrible shot there. Technician. Technician. All right, we're going to do this. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Okay, good. That heavy must have run indoors there, huh? No, that's the assault. Where did our heavy go, I wonder? Oh, he's right here. <laughs> he's right there. Okay, um, we're not going to kill him here, but we can get his arm probably with this weapon. Did not get his arm. Uh, if we war cry, we only get him. That stops him from. Uh, oh, we got him over here too. That stops him at least. We got him to. Need to get somebody back on that sniper back there. That's probably going to be you, Blaze. Uh, this guy only panicked, right? He's still in fighting shape. Although we did just war crime again, so he can't move and shoot. So let's bring you to here for this instant. And let's have a look at this shot here. Get a Cyclops, could get his arm. Let's uh, do that. Let's make sure we get enough to do this here. Uh, we could just take him out, probably. Okay, got his arm. Um, this guy. Got a technician over here that we're going to have to deal with. This guy here is pretty much out of the fight at this point, I think.
Okay, he's gonna, he's going down. You're good there. But you go over here. You're gonna help with this guy in the building. Bring you to here. And let's have an overwatch on this door. Yeah, Valkyrie. Oh, you could just get in there and get the job done, can't you? Uh, Valkyrie's got six. That's enough for a dash to here. And then a quick aim. Probably should have done the regular shot first, but let's see if we can take your arm out. Okay, you're out. And then we're going to move you to here and prep for going out. There's Dr. Lewandowski there. Oh, there's a somebody here too. That's bad. All right, let's get let's get her out of here then. Oh, it's a sniper. Oh goodness. Get you to here, and then let's get you over here. That's not good. Um, she can get out. Let's get her to here. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, goodness. That dude just came out of nowhere. Oh, my. I think we have to start over, right? We failed. Our sources report Dr. Lewandowski was hospitalized and expected to recover. We owe it to the world to try again. Oh, my. Okay, well, now where is it? I mean, we don't even have the mission available to us here. I guess it'll come back. At some point. That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. All right. 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 We can deal with this. That worked pretty well right up until the point where the good doctor got blasted by a heavy that we didn't know was there. I think every single one of those shots from that shot from that uh, cannon hit or two. That was some good accuracy. All right, guys. Well, hmm. now what? Now what? Now what? Let's go see about. I don't want to stray too far from here because we are going to have more havens to defend. We know that there's at least a. Well, we know there's some kind of a colony in here somewhere because uh, we didn't find it when it was. We didn't find it when it was uh, within our radar ranges, so it's got to be in this area somewhere or maybe it's up here, but I don't think so. So hmm, I don't know what's I don't know. It's an interesting conundrum. Well, we're going to need to do some more trading, obviously. Uh, they have 56 tech that we can come down and get from them. And then we can sell it right back to them here. Some of it, anyway. We're going to be able to get some from here. This is a good haven. This is going to get us a boost on both.
All right. Well, hmm, let's do that. Okay, let's get this trade done here. I have uh think that's the first time I've ever failed that mission, guys. <laughs> All right, let, let me let me let me rephrase that. And let me back up a step. That's the first time I've ever had the doctor get killed in that mission. I've I have failed the mission before. That's uh Okay, we don't need their food particularly. Okay, we want to buy up all their tech. Then we're going to come here and trade it back. And buy all their materials. Some tech going there probably yeah definitely that it's not that much but it's some we don't want to buy tech from new jericho for materials that'll just end up being a that'll end up being a trade Let's see what this is okay give me all your tech and we're getting back in okay shape here Explore that. Trade here. Buy everything you've got. And let's check this site out. Obviously, it's a haven. Mushrooming. Manticore 1 has encountered a Synedrian scientific expedition led by Dr. Robert Laden. This... Its purpose is to investigate a large field of mushroom-like growths that release a cloud of spores upon contact. It's unclear whether this represents a new vector for infection or something more harmless, but Sinedrian would like to know. Uh, we can give up 50 tech. That's a lot, but we're in okay shape. Um, extra research after gathering data with the help of our operatives, Dr. Loudon comes to the conclusion that the spores do not contain any traces of the Pandora virus. They are, however, highly poisonous and could render areas inhospitable with alarming speed. As such, the only logical conclusion is to destroy all the growths and hope that they're the only specimen. Okay, so extra research. It's going to give us the telepathic nodule. Uh, we have plenty of stuff queued up here still. I don't think we have anything new necessarily. Yeah, we could do any an an religion. That's worth some some stuff. We're going to need Tiamat development eventually. Um, oh, not that I'm interested in using in Tiamats, but we need Tiamat development and advanced Tiamat so that we can eventually get the Mast Manticore to go after the Behemoth. But that's that's a long way off, so we don't have to worry about that anytime too soon. So I think we're doing good here still. Um. There's just not much here, and I just know that as soon as I wander away, a haven's going to come under attack, and I'm not going to be able to get back to it. Um, I think maybe what we'll do is this. Maybe, well, he's guarding that now, so we're going to have to get the Helios down there to get rid of him. Maybe the Helios finishes here, comes down here, takes out this Tiamat, and then the strike team moves in and frees up this haven. I think maybe is uh, going to be the play and then we just have to wait for saving Helena to resurface and see what we can find. Uh, do we have to do more research for that? I don't think we do, probably. I mean, we've already done the research, so I can't imagine that we'd have to do it again. Um, how are we doing for time here? Oh, we're just right at 40 minutes. Let's go for another, another minute or three here. So you guys are going to come down to here, I guess. And you're going to finish here. Okay, explore that. Okay, over here we got a new Jericho Haven that is trading materials for tech. 54 for 324. Looks good. This is Nidrian here taking... Oh, this is a good haven. Look at this. Tech and materials for food. So we're going to swing... Not you. You are going to swing into here. 
going to buy up all of their food, which isn't much. Is there more? Yeah, there's more here. Okay, telepathic nodules finished. Our research once again caused controversy. To New Jericho, the existence of the telepathic nodule is unsurprising. They have always seen infection as an attack on human will, but it's made their relationship to the disciples of Anu deteriorate even further, as they now see the disciples as not only trying to pervert, but to enslave humanity. To Sinedrian, the confirmation that the Pandorans are controlled by an external force is deeply shocking. To the polyphonic tendency subfaction, it means coexistence is no longer as simple. The Pandora... Pandora creatures must be liberated first, but the terraformers argued that this is naive. The task is to take control of the Earth for humanity, not to romanticize the alien invaders. The disciples, meanwhile, have released a rare official statement from the Exalted. Behold, our people have drunken deep of the waters of life, and yet they are free. Our path leads not to enslavement, but to liberation from the flaws of the old flesh. Uh, New Jericho's disciples' attitude toward us is increasing. New Jericho hates the disciples even more. Okay, safe haven of Ankua. Our operatives have become entangled in a potentially messy diplomatic affair at Ankua. It would appear that the defector from New Jericho is asking the disciples of Anu for asylum and plans to join the religion if, it's if his request is granted. New Jericho demands the soldier be returned, claiming he has been brainwashed. The influence of the Phoenix Project could be the deciding factor, but our choices will have political consequences. Um... We can just recruit him and then turn him loose. That's probably the best thing to do. That way we're not taking hits on anybody. Um, New Jericho is not our favorite persons right now. We're not their, their favorite people. Um, it's none of my business, to be honest. It's like, you guys hate each other anyway. You know what? Let's do this. Let's recruit him. Okay. Sinedrin's attitude is increased. Nobody else is decreased. And then we're just going to go in here and we're going to send him over to Sinedrian, apparently, because uh, they they don't seem to mind. So, uh, Werner. Sorry, my friend. No humans allowed in this outfit. Okay, good. Trade here. Get your food. And your materials. Oh, well, we're about out of tech here. That's all right. Take what you got, and then we're going to come here. Okay, long pig. Our operatives are disturbed to report the discovery of what they describe as a pig pipeline, a bizarre growth resembling the stitched together bodies of pigs several miles long. It's unclear to what end the Pandora virus created this organism or why recombined pig DNA, why it re... re Sorry, one more try. Or why it recombined pig DNA to achieve its purpose. Perhaps the entire thing is an aberration. Um, well, we can't investigate it because we got no tech. That's unfortunate. Um, <laughs> burn it. It's probably an error. <laughs> Well, the disciples would like it if we left it. New Jericho will like it if we burn it. Let's just burn it. It would be impossibly costly to burn the entire thing, so our operatives only only set a section of it on fire. It rises like a snake as it burns, and a dark brown liquid emerges with an awful gurgling smell. It smells of bacon. All right. Okay, let's get heading back. Kind of in this direction, I suppose. Uh, we got to be getting really close with our bounty hunters, right? They have another level. They're at 108 of 400, heading to level 5. So they're going to be ready in a couple of days. Manufacturing is almost done. Two days left on their Manticore. They're basically ready to go. So I tell you what, let's do this. Let's get them geared up, maybe. So Frag, you get that. And also one of these. And you're going to get, for now, um, I have a lot of stuff here I could potentially sell. I tell you what, guys, you know what? We're, uh, we're at a good stopping place here. I'm going to off screen. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys geared out.
and um, I'll probably do a little bit of selling as well. And we'll get this trade kind of done next time as soon as we get done, get going here. And I think we're going to just call it here because it seems like an okay stopping place. So if you've enjoyed this episode, even though we failed our mission for the first time I've ever, I've let Dr. Lewandowski get hurt. Um, if you've enjoyed it, though, do me a big favor and hit that like button. We'll try it again. Don't even worry. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button as well. And we'll see you guys next time. And uh, maybe next time we'll go a little bit smoother. But you can't have a perfect mission on every mission, right? So this is what we get. Sometimes they don't go right. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>